the long-awaited Hornby BR Standard 2MT260 78XXX. Now this one, being Scottish allocated, comes with a snow plough. However, unless you have curves, the radius of the world, it won't go round. So, to test it on Little Bytham, I just unclipped the snow plough. On occasion, when I have a new RTR locomotive to test, it needs running in first, but this is not the case here. Straight from the box, and beware when you take it out of the box. Bits are very, very fragile and have a habit, if you're not careful, of falling off. Anyway, as I say, straight from the box, it worked perfectly. I've added little bits that came with it, the brake rigging and the cylinder drain cogs and the front steps. Now, why the steps have little pips on their inside, I have no idea. If you fit them with the pips left alone, it won't go around corners. So I snip them off. Perhaps someone at Hornby will explain. I don't think it's part of the moulding process. Anyway, on the positive, it's beautiful. I couldn't build a BR standard to look as good as this. It runs exquisitely. The finish is perfect. Just be careful. It is fragile. It's to scale. It's an absolute little beauty. Pretty, I think, would be a good adjective to describe this engine, if ever a heavy steam locomotive can be called pretty. Dainty, delicate, you choose. very very fine model just around 200 pounds a little bit more that's the dcc ready not the dcc on board lovely i like it